Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and in this problem, we're going to solve a right triangle application problem. The problem is, from the stage of a theater, the angle of elevation to the first balcony is 19 degrees. The angle of elevation to the second balcony, which is 6.3 meters directly above the first, is 29 degrees. And the question they want to know is, how high above stage level is the first balcony? Hint, you will need two equations. I've included a diagram, and one strategy that I'd like to offer is, when having a diagram like this where there are multiple triangles, to go ahead and label each vertice so we can talk more easily about those triangles. So that's what I'm going to do now, label the vertices. Now the primary question that they're asking us is to figure out how high above stage level is the first balcony. So if we look at our diagram, the first balcony is over here, and we want to figure out how high off stage level that is. So that means I'm going to call this little segment here CDX. Now in going back to the problem and looking at some of the additional details they give us, they tell us the angle of elevation to the first balcony is 19, and we can see that here in the diagram. But they also tell us the angle of elevation to the second balcony is 29 degrees. So at this point, we've got lots of different triangles going on in this diagram. We've got triangle A, B, D, we've got triangle A, C, D, and we've got triangle A, B, C. Now, for our purposes and using the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios, we can only focus on the right triangles. Those ratios only work in the context of a right triangle. So I need to pick out the right triangles from this diagram and, as another strategy, redraw the right triangles separately down below so I can more easily work with them. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So at this time, I've redrawn the two right triangles. The smaller of the two, triangle ACD, has an angle of elevation of 19 and an opposite side of X. The larger right triangle, triangle ABD, has an angle of elevation of 29 and an opposite side of x plus 6.3. To make that clear where I got the x plus 6.3, we have the x over here and we've got the 6.3 there, and I just add those together to get the segment BD. As I look at the two resulting right triangles, I'm given two angles of elevation, and I know in each case the opposite side. But in both of the cases, I don't know the opposite length, and I don't know the adjacent length. But there's one very important connection to make, and that is, in this case, the adjacent lengths are the same. They're both AD. Segment AD is part of the bigger right triangle, and it's part of the smaller right triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and call that Y. And it's going to be Y for both, because it represents the same thing, segment AD. Now that I've got my setup down, I've got the opposite side and the adjacent side in both of the right triangles. This invites me to use the tangent ratio. I'm going to go ahead and set up two equations based on the tangent ratio for each of these right triangles. So at this time I have my two tangent equations set up and what I'm going to do is solve for y in both of them. So I've taken my two tangent equations and I've isolated y in each case. Now in the first case, we've got something equals y, and in the second case, we have something else equaling y. So what I can do at this time is set those two elements equal to each other. Unfortunately, I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to have to get rid of something. So you can always rewind the clip just to see what the diagram or uh, whatever else I get rid of looked like. I'm going to get rid of this whole chunk right here. And at this time, I'm going to equate the two things in the ovals. Now that I've equated the two results, I'm going to cross multiply in hopes of solving for x. Because there are two x's available and they're on differing sides of the equal sign, I'm going to have an x party moving them all to one side. All terms with x will go to the left, all terms without an x will stay on the right. Now I'm going to factor out the x on the left hand side. Unfortunately, I'm running out of even more room, so I'm going to have to get rid of the diagrams. And for my final step, I'm going to do division. At this time, I'm going to go to the calculator to evaluate what this actually equals. A couple of things. Make sure you're in degree mode. And also, if you're using an older model calculator that doesn't have the fraction template, it's a little bit tougher to enter this in. You want to make sure there's a clearly defined numerator with parentheses and a separate clearly defined denominator with parentheses. So if you have an older model calculator, 
you might want to think about something like this. The whole numerator divided by the whole denominator. Also keep in mind, whenever you press sine, cosine, or tangent, an open parenthesis is started, which you have to close. So it's going to look like this, and like this, 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 this. So again, if you have an older model calculator, there's going to be a lot of parentheses. I'm going to call up the calculator right now and do this with you. So I've got my calculator on. I'm going to check the mode, and I'm glad I did because right now it's in radian mode. So I've switched it over to degree mode. I'm going to go to my calculating screen. Now this is an older model calculator. I don't have the fraction template, so I'm going to have to enter it in with all these extra parentheses. So we've got 6.3 tangent 19 divided by tan 29 minus tan 19. Notice again all of the extra parentheses. I'm going to press enter and that should be my answer. Rounding to the nearest hundredth, we get x equals 10.33. And to be clear, because the diagrams are now gone, we just figured out how high the first balcony is from the stage level, 10.33 meters.